Uh, so for those of you who are, you know, you want to project confidence, this is definitely the trend color for you and that is the radiant red. This is the kind of red that is extremely passionate, it's intense, it is very saturated, it is not easy for a lot of people to incorporate. There are definitely some do's and don'ts when it comes to wearing red and so I'm going to share with you some of the ways that I will match red for 2024. Why you should adopt this red. I think all of us, we have been very comfortable with the neutral colors. Go to black or too navy or too grey or too beige. It's just it doesn't it doesn't make you stand out. It doesn't make people remember you. Now I know that some people they just want to be in the background. You'll be very surprised in what red can do. You know there's this famous quote saying that when in doubt wear red. I believe that whatever that you wear it can go into your subconscious mind. So when you wear it and you look at yourself in the mirror it kind of makes you act and feel a certain way. For myself I'm an introvert but when I wear red I become a little bit more extroverted, I become a little bit more energetic and so red I think is one colour that is, is really fashionable. It's, just, it's not like your orange, it's not like your green or yellow where you know once if you wear it too much it kind of becomes like a fad but red is something that has always been a mainstay in the world of fashion and so if you do it in a particular way it can look fashionable even though it's not trending. I don't know why you should embrace red whether you're a guy or a girl. It just simply makes you like sexier times that. So one of it is red and pink. This is I would say one of the most recommended color combinations at least through my experience of styling. Especially when I know that you're more feminine, you're very quirky, you have a very cheerful or like optimistic kind of attitude. I think that for you to channel that without you know speaking so much is through the colors that you wear. So when someone wears red and pink it just shows that wow this person is actually strong but has that fun you know playful side of them because sometimes you can look confident and strong but totally not fun and playful right that they are those kind of colors so for those of you out there who is feminine you have that strong women vibe but you don't want to look like you are that femme fatale the pink and the red combo is going to be very refreshing and then the second combination is your red and beige and chocolate so chocolate meaning the intense brown the deeper kind of brown I think this particular combination is quite rare. Uh, when I was doing my research and I saw this combination, I somehow find it very visually attractive. I think simply because it is still within that color scheme, it is still quite calming in a sense because red is like hard to tame, right? And then when you pair it with like beige, along with a very mature, stable color like deep brown, it kind of makes the red a little bit more approachable. It kind of makes the red like more sophisticated in that manner so if you think that oh black is sophisticated black should match with red actually it makes red even sharper and and not as sophisticated i think it is a smarter way if you try to match red with colors that is still within the family meaning to say the two new accompanying neutrals which is beige and brown actually has the same undertone as red because these three are considered the warmer color palette which is why it works. Last but not least, I would match red and grey. This is my personal favourite because I'm the edgy gal. I'm the girl that wants to show that whatever I wear kind of like have that cool girl attitude that is a little bit dangerous and mysterious. And so sometimes when I wear all red, I, I do feel a sense of like, wow, it's a little bit much. Grey is a very smart way for you to take the red down a notch it kind of injects the coolness without making it look too pet back because red itself is very wild you need a color that is very grounded in order to pull it back and make it look very i would call it it's dangerous but a little bit more mysterious sometimes gray can look very boring when you don't know how to do it well so i think injecting red to your gray outfit is definitely gonna add a bit more character to a pretty serious look that grey provides. Okay guys, I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know uh, if you would adopt the radiant rate if you are that personality and I will see you in the next video.